I have been rather busy this morning doing other things. Uh, yeah. We're gonna start on 66. Uh, it should go fairly good. All we have to do is place boats as near as I can tell. I was wondering, as I was sliding this under the model table, my little uh, protection things that I've got here, you know, that's to help that I don't catch things like this. Um, well, I was uh, noticing that possibly they're going to be in the in the road here. Now, I, I was wondering uh, if I should take them off or try and work around it. Like, it, we got to put a boat right here. Um, another thing I want to do is be very mindful if I suddenly realize I need something on the other side, you know, to, to go very, very slow. Um, I'm having a bit of a problem getting going here. Actually, I didn't realize it, but I was having a problem ending up last night. After I was through using my little brush, which wasn't cheap if I remember, I forgot to clean it out. And, and it is it is hard and pointy. So, uh, well, we'll try the Windex thing. I'll put the macro lens on and we'll try the Windex thing. It, uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to work and I, I want you to see just how good Windex works. Uh, like I say, I'm having a problem getting going here in 66. But I, I do think we'll get at least some of these boats on today. Anyway, let, let's just uh, continue on here. We've got a couple of milliliters, I guess, of Windex here. And I realized afterwards that, uh, Apparently you can't get you cannot get this stuff in the UK. I'm sure that there is something similar. Now you can just see it's it it, it works amazingly well on the Tamiya XF paints. And I can't remember how well it works on the Steinle res. I'm, I'm going slow here so that you can you can see what's happening. But uh, if I was in a hurry, I would have just stuck it in and and gone like this. I would have just turned it back and forth. And. Uh, It just seems to dissolve it really, really well. Okay, we wasted enough time on that. At least my little brush is not ruined. Okay, it only makes sense to me that we place the boats that are on the inside first and then the outside ones later if there are, like, in this case, we got one, two, three brackets here and uh, that is these three brackets right here so this is boat number 15 and then it looks like number 19 gets placed on the on the frets or whatever you call them uh, afterwards so uh, all right Here we go, 15. Let's just see how it's going to fit. Maybe I should be uh, repositioning here. And uh, I prefer to be using Tony's tweezers, but I don't know where they are at the moment. Okay, I'm going to just reposition here and then we'll decide what we're going to do. I imagine we'll use, uh, I don't know what kind of glue, maybe the Ravel, because it'll melt the plastic. Okay. Okay, it's just uh
Is there any one place that this seems to lock in into its spot better than another? It seems to be right about there. All right, now my thinking is that we'll just put the, try and put just a very small amount of glue and we'll do it on the far side. Now, let's see if I can carefully reach through here. Now I want to be careful I don't catch my fingers on the mast. I'll do the furthest one first. Now maybe I should have checked it. Oh, there it comes. Okay, now this Ravel dry, dry, cures or dries rather rather slowly compared to the extra thin. Now we'll just just place it right in the center there. Maybe I can feel it better with my finger. Yeah, that's actually working better than the tweezers. Now, I want to make sure that it looks like it's level. Somebody was remarking about how Trumpeter, when they, when they designed the hull and the deck of these little boats, they didn't allow it so that the deck part will go down farther farther than it does and you can see here how the uh, this is actually too high this should be down the deck should be further down in the in the hull okay now where's our 19 here okay I'm sorry if I'm gonna get my fingers in your way now is that gonna fit flat on there that that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't want to... Do I have the wrong one? Oh, I see. Maybe the rudder is supposed to go down. Just let me check the manual. That, that just doesn't look right. There is nothing special on the bottom of this number 19. And there's nothing special on the frets where this is supposed to go. But it, it just it just won't fit there, like it, it won't stay there. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is just uh, you know put some glue across the bottom of the uh, or rather across the top of of these uh have these frets here and uh, and then just set it in place and wait for the glue to cure that's I don't know what else to do I uh, wonder if there's if there's some way that I could after I get it on there to hold it so that it's horizontal You know, something like that. Yeah, I could, I could probably rig something up. I'm going to, uh, you know what? <clears throat> didn't didn't I say something about that? This was not going to go as fast as it, I thought it would. Um, yeah, I'm going to just rig up a bit of a jig so that after I get it on, I can I can hold it in place there. This story that I'm about to relate to you may not be a hundred percent true, but um, yeah, if you use your imagination though, it will be a lot more meaningful to you. Anyway, earlier this morning I went to Superstore. 
And boy, is this ever the good time to go to Superstore. The parking lot is yours. Um, there was nobody in line at the cashier. Yep, this is the time to go. Now, the main reason that I went to Superstore this morning is because yesterday I had put out the last of the carrots. And when the door opened up and I walked in with my shopping cart, what do I see? Right in front of me is carrots, 10 pound bags, on sale. Yeah, they're about half price. I haven't bought carrots that cheap for about 10, 15 years. And uh, yeah, well I bought two, so I got 20 pounds. That should do me for a month. Anyway, we're home. And I'm unloading my groceries. And I see a little rabbit watching me. And I recognize it as a new rabbit. In other words, it would be a this spring rabbit. And I knew it wouldn't be onto my tricks. Now, I had done this before a year or two ago. And it kind of worked with the other rabbit, and I thought, well, maybe I'll just have a little bit of fun with this one. One of the first things I had done this morning when I got up and checked the surveillance monitor was to see if there was any carrots left. And they were all gone. And I was starting to feel a little bit guilty about teasing our little rabbit. Anyway, I went out and it was still there. And you know, I could be wrong, but I thought I saw a tear in its eye. Meet you around the back. Now, as I indicated when we first started our rabbit segment here, some of this might be true. In fact, most of it was true. But you know, some of it I might have stretched it just a little. Okay, this is just a dry run here. Now you can see the clothespin on the other side of the deck. Now the idea is that if we, whoops, careful run, if we take uh, Mr. T's poking device and lay it on there. Okay, well the glue cures. Okay, so I think that's going to work. Now, where do we want to put the glue? Do we want any on this very first? I, I realize now I was calling these things frets, and they're actually like thwarts, or, or actually these are probably seats where the guys would sit on. Um, so I'll try and remember to call them seats from now on. Okay, so if I... It looks like there's gonna we could put glue on... Yeah, and the, and the keel on this thing is is pretty straight. I'll set it here for the time being. I'm, I'm just going to eyeball the center here. Hmm. Did it plug up on me or? Okay, I'm going to have to push stop here for a minute. Okay, we're back. Now once again, I'm just going to eyeball the center. Oh, it's a little more than I wanted. Story of my life, right? That one wasn't too centered. Well, I'm probably going to end up smearing it around anyway. Now.
All right, now I'm just gonna look from straight down and make sure I got that straight. It's, uh, I know you can't see it, but it could be that it could go a little bit in at the stern here. Okay, let's just leave that for a while. In other words, we'll, we'll just leave it overnight. This episode is kind of uh, disjointed. Um, oh, I did get something from Amazon today for the rabbits, but I'll have to show you that tomorrow. We've run out of time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get a coffee visitor. Today is Monday. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.